Welcome, my name is Ricky Wynn and I'm one of the application engineers at Hawkridge Systems. And today I want to take a look at the new ability to add additional content via the SolidWorks Electrical Portal. Now a couple ways to get there, if you go to the Help tab, you'll see we have the Online Content button. Another way to get there is to go to the Library, Manufacturer Parts Manager, and then click on the Online Content. A browser will pop up, whether it's Internet Explorer, or Chrome, or Firefox, whatever you're using. Click on SolidWorks Electrical Portal. And if you're logging in for the first time, you'll most likely see something like this. Go ahead and click on Register. Fill out the form. You can put in your first name, last name, company, country, um, characters from the image, as well as your email address and password. If you forget your password, go ahead and click on this button here and then I'll have you retrieve your password but in this case we're all set so we'll go ahead and log in. So what are the advantages of accessing the electrical content portal? You'll notice up top a lot of users have been asking for well is this 500,000 plus component database up to date? Right Now by having an online content portal that's constantly being updated you now have a connection to Trace software so anything that's been added, you don't have to wait for another version. So you'll notice the catalog gives you alphabetically all the manufacturers that Trace supports. But if you find that something's not there that you need, go ahead and click on Ask for Content. Tell it whether it's 2D, 3D, the catalog data, class, manufacturer, description, and of course the more details the better. Trace Parts Online will also give you access to free 2D and 3D CAD files if needed. And if you turns out that you created one of your own and you want to share it and upload it to so that others can use it as well, go ahead and click on the share button. But for now, let's take a look at the catalog capability. You can type in the name of a certain manufacturer and then they can search for it here. But in this case, I'm just going to look at ABB and see what they have. And I want to bring in a set of contactors. Go ahead and click on the download button. From there, what it's going to do is you either have an open with pop up or you'll get like a save to. And we do recommend save just because you can then unarchive it afterwards and it's an actual file on your system as opposed to just opening straight up. If you click on it, what it'll do is it'll pull up another instance of SolidWorks Electrical. So just keep that in mind. Go ahead and click through the unarchive environment, you'll click through the manufacturer parts, click next, and then finish, and then it'll add them to the catalog. It just said that there was none processed just because I've done this one already. Another way to do this is to go to unarchive environment, select whatever you're trying to unarchive, in this case we add in the motors, and same environment. Third way in which you can do this is if you have the Windows Explorer, say you have quite a few of them and you like the drag and drop method, go ahead and left click and just drag and drop in here and then it pulls up the unarchive environment to kind of add those manufacturer parts to your catalog. So today we covered how to stay up to date with the current catalog that Trace software has accumulated and also another avenue for you to request parts or manufacturer information if needed. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.